What is up guys, it's Unknown Secret Productions, and today I am going to be reviewing the Transformers Masterpiece movie series, MP on 5 Barricade. And so, here is Barricade in his vehicle mode, and I will say, the vehicle mode looks very, very accurate to the vehicle in real life. And the headlights are done in a really nice metallic blue covered in some transparent plastic blinkers done in orange of course police with 1865 with the decepticon insignia surrounded in a metallic blue the doors of course well of course that's the sign of the police and the panel lining on well i mean there's one thing with my figure um, I'm not sure if this is a widespread issue, but um, on, on this side of the door, um, the panel lines line up just fine. But on this side, yeah, um, the yeah, this part of the doorway, the door is um, uh, sitting further in than the actual door, and that has kind of bugged me. But I'm pretty sure it's not a widespread issue to punish and enslave emergency 911 response 643 the back of license plate oklahoma state 1-4027-e i mean not e uh 643 and the and the tail lights done in red the exhaust pipes down here as well and this side is pretty much the same as the other the top of the car has the light bar of course 643 okay and police written in a white paint on the spoiler and the cable on the bottom is um yeah um it's not too bad in my opinion but um yeah there is some cable on the bottom there is also some die cast construction this whole strut on here and and I, I wasn't, i'm not entirely sure if this grill part is die cast but i think i think it might be and he actually rolls very very smoothly and without further ado let's get right into the transformation And here we have the Transformers Masterpiece and PM5 Barricade in robot mode, and wow! Hasbro and Takara did an outstanding job when they were making Barricade. And the head sculpt is absolutely amazing. With, all, with that metallic blue, silver, and gold, and with the, and the red paint apps for the eyes, that really makes this figure truly, um, well, that's a part of this figure that makes him look like a truly, true masterpiece. Lots of beautiful sculpted detail, and the back kibble is brought to a bare minimum, with the just the roof of the car uh, hanging out with the split light bar. And of course, these the door wings are screen accurate, or window wings, I don't know what to call them. Okay, let's get into articulation, and the head is on a ball joint, so we can look up that far, and you can fuse the hinge at the neck, you can make him look down that far. You also get a hinge joint at the jaw, which allows him to yell, Are you your name that he's my 217? Uh, anyways, um, the, these, uh, the, uh, the over tall shoulders are in a hinge, which doesn't to the out that far and in that far. Um, I probably won't be using that for that. And the arms can up, well, I mean, until it bumps into the door wing. Uh, they can, they can rotate, they can rotate all the way around. They can move out around three clicks. You do get a bicep swivel, a really good bend at the elbow. Um, there's no like real articulation of the wrist unless you unhook, unhook it from the tire. 
and you get a hinge joint at the top three fingers and a hinge joint at the thumb. And up the also another thing that sometimes this backpack this part of the backpack likes to untab real easily. It could be annoying to some people, but not entirely for me. And he does have a limited weight swivel before it hits the backpack. Also, the hip skirts are on a hinge joint. The legs can kick. Uh, can kind of move back that far. That looks kind of weird due to like the ank the uh, way the ankle is um, sculpted. And they can move out on a ratchet, uh, so we can do the full splits. You do have a thigh swivel, a double jointed knee, uh, two clicks for the first joint, and around two clicks for the second joint. Like to lock the second joint back into place, it's kind of tight, or I mean, kind of, well, kind of hard to do. Uh, you get a hinge joint at the toe spike, the, the ankles can move up and down, and they can pivot inward and outward, which is a nice point of articulation. Also, these chest bits, I, I kind of forgot to mention, um, are on a hinge joint here and a hinge joint here. I mean, uh, the way that you position these guys, and these things are uh, is pretty much personal preference. Uh, I, I would usually just uh, position them like this. And of course, um, the, uh, the window wings have a hinge joint here and a hinge joint here. Uh, this backpack. And he does come with um, an accessory which is his um spit his like tire mace i'm not sure if there's an official name for this but of course it can spin i just bumped the camera didn't i <laughs> yeah and it actually spins very freely and and um the and the all the spikes are done in a soft plastic so you don't have to worry about poking yourself and to get this thing equipped you want to come to the arms Straighten out the fingers, collapse this tire. I mean, it's not that important part of the transformation, but it's just what I do. Anyways, you want to extend the arm, fold this down, collapse this panel, unfold it, and put the hand back into its original position, and unclip the tire, raise it on the slider, and put that back into its original position. Ugh, yeah. Then uh, put then put this back to where it was, and there's a tab here and and a slot right in there, and there's a hook tab on the uh, spinning mace, and then you just swing it around the tab, and there you have barricade wielding his spinning mace, and this thing is huge. I mean, I never thought it was oversized, but, um, yeah. Anyways, on with the size comparisons. Here he is with the Studio Series Leader Class Shockwave. And any all know that, probably know by now, that this guy was my uh, favorite Transformers figure ever. But he has now been topped by this guy. And here he is with the NECA 2019 Godzilla. And there you have that. And now on to the packaging. Actually, before we move on to packaging, um, there's something I completely forgot to mention about this thing. Um, yeah, the spinning mace actually comes with this own stand adapter. Yeah, um, okay, so how do you want to insert this is you want to find one of these spikes Oh, and like a little defect on mine is that this thing was, um Shaped like this. Um, anybody else have this figure and have that, uh, have that same thing? Uh, let me know in the comments below Um, anyways, um You just want to find one of these spikes There's a slot here and you just want to slide that in and the hook tab will sit right in that slot and um, another thing about the, the spinning mace, there is no place to store it in either mode, but um, not a bad inclusion for the stand adapter. Now, onto the packaging. And as far as the box goes, 
You get your image of Barricade in both robot and vehicle mode officially licensed for product, Masterpiece Movie Series, Transformers, MPM5 Barricade, Transformers, Hasbro, and Takara. On this side of the box, you have MPM5 Barricade. On this side of the box, you have Barricade and Vehicle Mode, MPM5 Barricade, Transformers. On the top, Transformers Masterpiece Movie Series. On the bottom, a bunch of useless stuff and QR codes, authentic Transformers. And on the back of the box, you have your product shots, Transformers Masterpiece Movie Series, the officially licensed uh, Ford and Saline product. And um, some other product images. Rot rotor blade weapon, movable movable faceplate. Shouldn't, shouldn't that be mouth? Um, what a, uh, whatever. And... Okay, some final thoughts on Barricade before I go. Um, the figure itself is actually very well done. Um, I forgot to mention the die-cast metal feet before. Um, yeah, there's also a paint chipping issue um, with my fig with um, the figure. Um, it's mainly with the uh, door. It's mainly with the uh, window wings, and it's mainly just on this side. Um, and apart from that, no other uh, paint chipping issues. Oh, and of course the um, uh, of course this uh, little thing is yeah yeah. Um, anyways, apart from that, I still think he's a pretty good figure. I would highly recommend picking this guy up. Um, I did see him on Amazon. Um, there's probably a, a lots of other places that you could get this guy. Um, uh, nonetheless, he's an awesome figure. Highly recommend him. And check out Blooper Dolphin 35. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.